Hi everyone! Um, right, while I was out at work today, um, this box came. Um, I've taken the address label off to uh, shred it up, but the return address on it didn't really give anything away, so I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, so yes, uh, got one or two things that are due to come. This could be one of them, but yeah, um, it's much as a mystery to me as it is to you. So let's see. Let's see. See if I can find something to get into it. Right. Haha. -ha. The nail clippers and the hoof pick. Never underestimate the hoof pick. Oh yes, for a change last night I um, did my nails. They're a bit short and rubbishy at the moment uh, because the detergents at work, they're not very strong and they tend to flake and split and snap. So that's, that's what I've got on. It's actually a holographic um, nail varnish. You can't really tell very well on the phone. Um, it's one that I bought a while ago. See if this is the one. Yes, it's from. Um, I actually got it from Wish. Um, it came in a born pretty box, and the colour is the Pandora. So it is actually quite a nice one. So that's. It separates about out after a while. That's why it looks as though there's a silver streak in it. Um, there isn't really. Yeah. It goes when you mix it up a little bit. But I haven't, until last night, I hadn't used it for quite a while. If I do it from the other side of the label, it's like a, a an, an ocean, dark, bluey, greeny, mysterious y, um, speckly, holography. Really nice, anyway. So to the box. Let's have a look what I can get into it. Eh? Sorry that the lighting in here is not very good but it is evening here. Um, got the big light on and it's uh, reflecting a little bit on the top of the screen. There. So ooh, it is what I was hoping it was. Um, I saw an advert on Facebook, as a lot of the adverts seem to appear that I respond to. Um, and OPI are doing um, an Hello Kitty range, um, sort of in time for Christmas, I suppose. Um, they do full-size bottles, and they also do um, gift sets with little bottles in and this is what this is what's that let's see so there is um, a bottle of infinite shine primer which is on this top corner here for step one and then you have a choice of 10 different colours. There is Let's Be Friends. A Hush of Blush. Let's Celebrate. All About the Bows. A kiss on the chic, little play on words there. Then on the bottom, we've got pile on the sprinkles, let love sparkle, uh, my favourite gal pal, which is a nice darky blue one, um, many celebrations to go. Sorry, I'm trying to not get it shining from the backlight 
um, and then isn't she iconic and then in the bottom right hand corner we've got infinite shine gloss so you've got the whole three step kit there step one you've got a choice of ten of step two and then you've got step three down there okay I'll take one of these out so you can see what they are size wise <clears throat> in comparison to bottles that you would normally buy in a chemist or from some other companies and the one that I've got out is a kiss on the chic um, let's see if I can not put them somewhere that they're going to fall off on the floor okay so that's the size of the bottle and that's what a kiss on the chic looks like so in comparison to the size of one of these bottles from Wish um, they're probably about the same in the amount of liquid and they're not far off the same high either um, I did purposefully choose this one because it's got so many different colours in um, in comparison to let's say one of these which is one of the Avon ones that I've had for ages right so that's about your standard size bottle and that's one of the OPI minis but because it takes me ages to get through any nail varnish these will last me a while and I've got 10 different colours to play with um, so you've got this lovely like a bit like ruffled foil um, lid it's not just plain shiny silver like it looks on there it's it's got a little bit of texture to it and you've got the classic OPI shaped bottle and your colour inside it so if I let's have a look I'll take this one out which is let's celebrate and this one is a lovely pink with lots of sparkles in it it's not picking up very well oh you can see just see it there look a bit like a, 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 a glitter polish but with a lovely different coloured sparkles in it so, and the ones on the bottom if I take these this out because they, they all come in their own little tray a top tray and a bottom tray and oh, this one looks like a nice one this is pile on the sparkles oops sorry my phone case is trying to close there this is pile on the sparkles so it's another one that looks a little bit like that last one um in that it's got lots of sparkly sparkles in it so doing your nails in time for christmas party season Yes, I know it's only November and it's not Christmas yet, but forward thinking and everything. And so on the top of the lid, look, you've got the OPI letters, name. Anyway, you've got OPI on the top of the lid there and that's the same for all the bottles. Um, I'll do a little bit of a swatch of each of them. Give me one minute to get some paper. Okay, so got paper everywhere, I just didn't go to the right bit. So let's see, is that anything important? No. It's nothing that it won't matter if it gets a bit of nail varnish on. So better keep the box handy there for reference, haven't I? So and all these are available as the full size bottles on their website. I once read somewhere that you really ought to roll bottles of nail varnish to mix them, not shake them like I did with that first one. Uh, shaking them incorporates air, rolling them 
tends to help the beads inside if it has got mix up beads um, to help mix the product a little bit better right this one oops as I try and not spill it everywhere is going to be going all over the bottle if I'm not careful this one is let's be friends uh, you can only just tell that it's there on that swatch from where the light is catching it it's like a very pale um candy floss color so i read somebody's comment online saying that they didn't like the look of it much because it reminded them of putting tipex on your nails um i know people used to do that when i were at school um i didn't bother the next one is a hush of blush which is like a very a very pale lilac colour yes I know I didn't roll the bottle that one you can tell a little bit better that it's there because it has that tiny little bit darker of a colour so that one's there oops trying not to let everything fall off the floor Number three is Let's Celebrate, that pretty pink sparkly one, and that is there, right, it looks as though it's a very, a very, very pale pink base, but has got lots of glitter in it, we can just tell there, look. Obviously, putting them on a piece of paper isn't very uh, isn't a very good indicator of what they're going to look like on your nails, because your nails aren't white like paper, are they? Unless you put the white base coat on, maybe I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. Right, the next one is all about the bows, and this was quite a nice pillar box red type one. And there is all about the bows. Next up, we have a kiss on the chic, which looks like a darker, maybe slightly blood red colour. And this is a kiss on the kiss on the kiss, kiss on the chic. There you go, you can just about tell the difference between um, All About the Bows and A Kiss on the Sheik there. Okay, next up, pop that over there. The next one is Pile on the Sprinkles. Which looks like it may be another really, really pale base with lots and lots of glitter in it. Actually, the base on this is lovely. It's a very pale purpley blue base. Blue purple? Like a, a bit like a sky, a slightly dark sky blue, but with lots and lots of glitter in it. There you go, that's Pile on the Sprinkles. After Pile on the Sprinkles, if I don't throw it on the floor, we have Let Love Sparkle. So, here is Let Love Sparkle. Very pale. But the colour will be a little bit buildable with more than one coat. So, so yeah. And then we have my favourite gal pal, which is that one. 
quite a dark bluey colour. Yes, it's quite a dark blue. With maybe a touch of green in it, in its depth. There you go, that's that one. Next up, we've got many celebrations to go. And this is, uh, I suppose I could say like it's a metallic champagne colour. That's probably about the easiest description I can give it. A champagne colour with sparkles. That's that one. And that's what it looks like swatching it. After that, we have Isn't She Iconic? And of course, Hello Kitty is pretty much an iconic character. So I think just about everybody has heard of Hello Kitty. That's that one. This is a sparkly silver. that one so there you ten colors brought out to celebrate Hello Kitty and as I've said a couple of times um, they do sell the full size bottles of these on the OPI website and probably some um, department stores uh, where you can buy OPI products may also have these. Um, on the back of the box it tells you more about them there. There we go. Two icons. One must have collection. Let's be friends forever. Uh, and then it tells you a bit about each of the colours and each bottle is 3.75 mils or if you're going in fluid ounces 0.125 fluid ounces so that's those um, they were delivered by a courier he put them he or she put them in one of our bins I could have sworn that the website said that it was something that needed to be signed for okay so price of them isn't actually on the delivery note and off the top of my head without going on the website to check I can't remember how much they were um, there was also the, there's a few other giftable items in, in the OPI uh, times low kitty range they've got some Christmas crackers which look quite pretty um, and there's also a value set as well which the individual items would retail at over £100 if you were getting them I think if I remember rightly that's somewhere around about the £50 mark and I think there are about five or six full size bottles in there as I say, I can't remember off the top of my head. It might be worth you having a look on the website um, if it's something that you're interested in buying. Um, I haven't had any OPI nail varnishes before, but I've heard good things about them. So, how about that? Look on the bottom of the box. you got a little Hello Kitty. And it's Hello Kitty is one of the Sanrio characters so you've got the Sanrio brand mark there too but yes um, I will dig out the website address oh, sorry the link for for these and for the rest of the hello um, OPI range and I'll put it down there let me know what you think um, I'm interested um, in people's thoughts on these so now that they've dried off a little bit 
put them up again. You still can't really tell that one very much unless it's in the light. So um, it will be quite pale on your nails. But that is what they're trying to achieve, a pale colour, a pale pretty colour. Very girly, very nice. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think you've heard me waffling on long, long enough about this. I've been going on for just over 20 minutes, so I'll sign off now. And I'll say, have a look at that link down there. And I'll see you all soon. Bye!